So today I'm taking the family to lunch at a restaurant we've never been to. We're going to eat. I don't think Orn's ever eaten this type of food before. So it's going to be a bit of a surprise for her. And I have eaten at this restaurant once a long time ago, about four years ago, and I remember it as being very good. One of my subscribers asked the other day about Thai food, and we're gonna go and check it out. What's that? Pigeons. Yeah. Vegetarian food? Yes. You excited? Ready, Carl? Thank you. Up and come. So it looks like artificial meat there. That looks like a catfish dish. Some sort of tofu. So a lot of this stuff is vegetable protein, I believe. These all pretty much look like meat dishes. Salapau, other sweets and things. This one looks like vegetarian fish skin. Ani Aroi? Okay. You want that one? Yeah? No dough for him. Mm -hmm. I think this is Got our noodle soup. Put the vegetables and the noodles in the strainer. And then into the hot soup to cook them. And that then gets covered with a broth. Yep, that one for Anda? Yes. Okay. This one looks the hmm. same catfish, yeah? Uh huh. Try that one. I add this one and that one. Mm -hmm. This one looks like a green chicken curry. And that one looks like caprao. I'm not sure what I'm going to try. She did say that one was on. Okay, our Annie. And Annie, do I cup? Okay, so by the look, that one's a soup. Pineapple and pork are in there by the look. Mushrooms. And then that one looks like an artificial catfish dish. Spicy. Okay. Got So this one looks like a green chicken curry. It's got some mushrooms, some sort of melon in there as well. And this one looks like caprao. Looks like it's got artificial meat, some beans, some sort of tofu, like a fish bowl type thing there. Basil and chili. So this one's got a big piece of something. It looks kind of like a catfish look. So we get Pad Fed Flavel, which is a catfish curry. This one's the soup. It's got lots of vegetables, some noodles down the bottom there, and lots of tofu by the look and artificial meat. No, I'm not sure what they are. I don't look like. This um, uh, 
Like pork skin. Mm -hmm. Tastes like pork skin. never really eaten much vegetarian food in Thailand before. I did try some of the food at the vegetarian festival a few years back and there's a video of that. And as I said earlier, I have been to this restaurant once about, must be nearly five years ago now, but that's really the only two times that I've eaten much vegetarian food in Thailand. So, I'll try this mock catfish. It does look like catfish when you pull it apart. And it does pretty much taste the same as the catfish curry at Bed Flower Bill. It's quite nice. It's quite spicy, a little bit salty. Tastes pretty much the same as this real catfish. I'll try an horns one as well. So this one looks like green chicken curry. There's even a piece of artificial chicken in there. Some mushroom. Again, just tastes like a green, green chicken curry, really. We'll try a bit of that artificial chicken. It's got the same consistency as chicken when you pull it apart. When you chew it, though, it's um, it's a bit stringier than chicken. It doesn't break up the same way, but the flavour is very similar to chicken. And then the caprao. Again, it's got some mushrooms, some tofu, and what looks like artificial meat in there. That one again, just tastes like caprao. Try some of the artificial meat. It's got pretty much the same texture as real meat. It's got the same flavor as real meat as well. So this one is pretty spicy, it's a little bit salty, a little bit sweet, as is the, the green curry, it's a bit sweet, a little bit spicy, not very spicy though that one, it's slightly salty, very good. And then the two soups, so we've got Amanda's noodle soup here, it's got lots of artificial meat, looks very similar to pork. Not the same texture as pork, but the flavour is very similar. It's a bit, a bit more chewy than pork. Quite nice. And then these little bowl things that one said taste like pork. Quite interesting. Not the same texture, but the same flavour as pork. Is very nice. And Nanda's been hopping into that one as well. It's not at all spicy. It's a little bit sweet. A tiny bit salty. Really nice. What do you think? Mm. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. So then my soup. This generally when I've had it before is a fish soup. This has got lots of vegetables in there, some pineapple, and some papaya, purple. And also a grape, I think. Not sure what that is, but it's pretty bitter. So this soup overall though. It does taste the same as the fish version I've had before. I think it's a southern style soup. It's also got some mushrooms in there. Very tasty. I'm pretty impressed with the vegetarian Thai food. It tastes the same as meat, you wouldn't know the difference really. The the texture of the artificial meats is different to real meat, um, but the taste is exactly the same. I actually watched a documentary recently about the manufacture of these artificial meat and the factories use all natural flavours and colours, like for example uh, they were making artificial prawns in the documentary I saw and the colour that they were using was from carrots to make the prawns orange. This stuff is pretty popular overall in Thailand and during the vegetarian festival which happens in October Lots of people will eat exclusively vegetables and they eat a lot of the artificial meats then. But the name of this soup is Tom Son. And I've also found some bits of Galangao down the bottom of it as well. Been really enjoying that. Definitely give this restaurant two thumbs up. The food is really tasty. 
and as I said, it's pretty much the same as regular meat dishes. A lot of them, if you serve them as meat dishes, you would not know the difference. The name of this restaurant is Hong Ming. It's just around the corner from Walking Street in Krabby Town. So if you're in Krabby, you're looking for somewhere where you can get some good vegetarian food, definitely try this place out. We'll definitely be back. If you're looking for vegetarian food in Thailand, you'll usually find vegetarian restaurants have little yellow flags like these. This is the back of Walking Street Market on the weekends, and the restaurant is just three doors up that way. About seven doors up the road from that restaurant, there's actually another vegetarian restaurant here as well. Again, they seem to have a similar sort of choice range so artificial pork skin there lots of mock meats tofu spring rolls and some more. pretty much the same sort of choices that are available at the other place so if you're in Krabby and you're looking for some vegetarian food, do try this place out. Check out my channel for lots more Krabby restaurants, as well as restaurants from all over the rest of Thailand, and lots of Thai food videos. I post new Thailand videos every Wednesday. Thanks for watching. See ya.